Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. It's been a while. It's so good to see you. Now, today we are going to continue to talk about nutrition, healthy stuff. And to get that off, we are going to make sandwiches today. Now, before we make sandwiches, we need to do one more thing. What is that? We go to the sink and we wash our hands. So we get some soap, we wash our fingers. Don't forget your thumb, wash your thumb. And when you are done, you dry your hands and now you are good to go. All right, so our first sandwich that we are going to make is a hot dog, a veggie hot dog. How about we put a little bit of ketchup on it? Let's there we go. Who likes hot dogs? I have a hot dog for you right here. Now, some of you maybe, it's still early, you probably would like an egg and cheese sandwich. Okay, well, we have our stove here. Let's turn it on. Let's cook our egg. All right, our egg is frying up. Let me just flip it over. Not too much. Let's flip it back. Let's cook another second. And in the meantime, we are going to put our bread. And then let's turn the stove off. We have a beautiful egg right here. And let's add our cheese to it. Do you want a little bit of mustard? We put a little bit of mustard on it. And boys and girls, if you like egg and cheese, I just made one for you. Now, maybe you're in the mood for crackers and cheese. Woo, delicious. Let's put our cheese right here with our crackers. If you are vegan, you can have vegan cheese with your crackers and crackers and cheese. Now, maybe you are in the mood for a burger. All right, I got you, I got you too, right here. Now, to make our burger, we need to cook it. Let's turn our stove back on a little high this time. Let's cook it up. And while it's cooking, our veggie burger is cooking, we are gonna put our bun. I don't have mayo. So we're gonna put lettuce. Let's flip it over now. Woo, there we go. Let's cook it some more boys and girls. In the meantime, we have a slice of tomato and a slice of cheese to go with that. Now, I think this burger is done. Let's turn it off. And boys and girls, always get an adult to help you when it's time to cook, okay? Now let's put our cheese right on it so it can melt. A slice of tomato, maybe a little bit of ketchup, extra tomatoes, right? And then the bun. Beautiful, boys and girls. We have ourselves a burger. Now maybe you like peanut butter and jelly. I have peanut butter and grape jelly right here. How about you have those with crackers? Of course. Let's get some peanut butter. Put it right here. Let's get some jelly. And we cover that up peanut butter and jelly. Shall we make one more? Okay. If you insist, we'll make one more. Cover that up. We have ourselves a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or crackers. Last but not least, we have ourselves some wheat bread and we are going to make a vegetable sandwich. Actually, my personal favorite. So we put our lettuce, we can put a slice of cheese, a slice of tomato, and we have here a cucumber. We can cut it up into pieces, put it on top, and we have our sandwich. Beautiful. Boys and girls, we have ourselves a variety of sandwiches today. Now, what are we going to do with them today? We are going to learn 
about our digestive system. What happens when we take a bite out of all these food? Well, to help us along, I have a little boy today by the name of Seth. Now, Seth is the son, was the son of Adam back in the Bible. So Seth is going to teach us what happens when we take a bite out of this sandwich. Okay. Well, the first bite of my sandwich starts to digest in my mouth. The saliva breaks up the sandwich as I chew it. The broken up sandwich mixed with saliva travels down through the esophagus to the stomach. There, the sandwich mixes with the digestion juice until it becomes something like a milkshake. This milkshake goes down through a long tube called the small intestine. Now all the nutrients which were in the sandwich go through the walls of the small intestine and out into the blood. The blood carries food to my whole body. The particles that can't be absorbed go on to the large intestine and I get rid of them through the anus when I go to the bathroom. Plop! And that is the end of my sandwich. Well, thank you very much, Seth, for that explanation. Boys and girls, wasn't that amazing? Let's, let's bring our beverages here, because sometimes we like to drink when we eat. So should we drink a lot of liquids when we eat? No. Should we drink a lot of cold stuff? Let's put some ice in there. Should we drink a lot of ice with our soda, ice cold soda or freezing cold water when we eat? Should we do that? I have this one because I like to have a cup of tea. So, and warm tea that is. But should we drink cold stuff when we eat? No, it's not healthy. Why, you may ask? Very good question. Well, when we drink stuff that's very cold for our bodies, our stomach has to stop digesting all this food in order to warm up the stomach because all this is so cold. The, the stomach is freezing cold. It needs to warm up to get to a proper temperature and then it can continue to digest. So that slows down our digestion. So you feel fuller longer because the food can digest in a short amount of time. Now, there are a couple of other things too that slow down your digestion. When you eat too fast or when you eat too much, if you eat all this, it will definitely slow down your digestion. If you eat in between meals, some of us like to have a little snack here and there, even if it's an orange or a banana, it's a snack. So if you eat in between, that can also slow down your digestion. And what we just talked about, if you drink a lot of liquids, even if it's room temperature, but if you drink a lot of water with your food, that will also slow down your digestion. So, Drink before you eat or drink after you're done eating and that will help your digestive system. Okay, boys and girls? Well, it is time for us to get to our Bible text for today. And our Bible text for today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Repeat after me. So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Boys and girls, it's time to pray. Repeat after me. Close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear Jesus, we thank you for our daily bread. Help us to take good care of our digestive system. Amen. Boys and girls, it's been fun 
giving you your story. I know we can't be together right now, but pretty soon we shall be together. But in the meantime, enjoy the stories as we continue to post one every week for you. Bye for now.